A 20-year dispute with the state of Nebraska comes to a head today for members of the Winnebago tribe of Nebraska. After hearing arguments, an Omaha judge will decide if a suit filed by the tribe against the state of Nebraska can proceed. That's our top story tonight at 6. A decades-old battle between the Winnebago tribe of Nebraska and federal regulators reaching a boiling point earlier this year. That's when the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives conducted a raid at two Winnebago tribal companies that manufacture and distribute tobacco products. Both are subsidiaries of Ho-Chunk, Inc. Ho-Chunk quickly filed suit in federal court against the state of Nebraska, which today argued the case should be dismissed. KCA United's Jacob Russo was in the courtroom following today's developments. Joins us from outside federal court tonight. Now, Jacob, that hearing wrapped up a couple of hours ago. Where do things stand right now? Tim and Bridget, the state of Nebraska doesn't want this to go to trial and Ho-Chunk Inc. Well, they do regarding the state's regulation of their tobacco facilities that are located on tribal property. And the Nebraska arguments uh, included um, focusing on the fact that because Ho-Chunk Inc. isn't a tribe and sells tobacco products to people outside of the reservation, they have to follow U.S. regulations regarding escrow payments. But for Ho-Chunk, this is more than just an argument for their tobacco. It's an argument for their independence. And if that decision is in our favor, then uh, we would hope that the court will hear uh, our case on the merits um, and make a decision that respects the sovereignty, the sacred sovereignty of the Winnebago tribe of Nebraska and the very worthy and important efforts of Ho-Chunk Inc., uh, HCI Distribution and Rock River Manufacturing. U.S. District Judge John Gerard heard both arguments and will take some time before he makes his final decision. That judge did say that he would reach that decision within the next 30 days, so now all that anyone can do is wait. Live in Omaha, Jacob Russo, KCAU 9 News.